An enormous event is now a month away for people following and playing Battletech. This event is going to be called the Battletech Mercenaries Kickstarter. This crowdfunding campaign is going to open up a huge range of new products for players to have access to. And I feel a gigantic level of excitement over what is to come. While we do have some idea of what a lot of these box sets are going to have, and I have a video on that, this is not the only purpose of this video. Instead, I want to talk to you about Battletech and about how it is going to be positively impacted by this crowdfunding campaign. What the campaign seems to be shaping up to, and where the future might lead us for the product itself, rather than just the lore and normal gameplay I talk about. From the time of the release of a game of armored combat, the redesign of the battle mechs and their release in plastic, and an enormous gamble by Catalyst Game Labs at the time, to the Clan Invasion Kickstarter, to beyond that, I have personally seen the transformation of Battletech from something which had slowly withered and started to vanish from the tabletop gaming world, to a revitalized, growing, incredible product with a massive community now forming around it. The Clan Invasion Kickstarter had 11,000 approximate people sign up for it, creating an entire miniature range for the most part that we see today after the initial release of a game of Armored Combat. Right now, on the backer kit page for the Battletech Mercenaries campaign, as of the making of this video, there are 11,815 people who have signed up stating their interest in pledging towards the new campaign. A campaign which has not even started yet. As far as I'm aware, CGL themselves expect this Kickstarter to be a bit more muted than the last. Perhaps this is true in terms of some of the product variation that we might be seeing for this Kickstarter, but I, even then I would say only slightly, because there is still an immense amount within this Kickstarter, but I couldn't disagree with this appraisal more as a whole. I think the Kickstarter will be larger than the Clan Invasion Kickstarter, because Battletech is larger than when that started and has continued thriving since its main return to the retail market. It is no longer just the older fans like myself this time, though they still make up a huge portion of the community and cannot be discounted. But there are legions of others who have begun to get involved. Some people new to tabletop as a whole, and others who have discovered it after its revitalization and have begun investing in it. The new Kickstarter, for those of you who are not aware, is going to include a massive number of new Inner Sphere mechs, as well as a huge volume of new plastic vehicles in new box sets that we have never seen happen for this game before. There will also be a few boxes of clan mechs introduced as well, including one which I very much want, which will include the incredible Highlander 2C. I have made a video on this, and it will be linked in the description of this video, Though Catalyst itself is also releasing more previews as well, and I will add the links to those as of the time of this video as well. They are free PDF previews that are on their store page. What is exciting is we're going to see an expansion of not just the miniature range, which is mostly what the Clan Invasion Kickstarter gave to the player base. We're going to see a transformation of the game to give greater access to tanks, VTOLs, and other vehicles, as well as Inner Sphere Battle Armor. This is a huge expansion in terms of the game's versatility and playability. While yes, people can order these things from Ironwind Metals, that is not easy and accessible for the most part for most gamers, or even for the retailers who would need to carry them. These new Force Packs will be easy to find once they reach the wider release, and will provide quick value to the person who purchases them, and will allow them, or their playgroup, to expand not only the visual portion and rules portion of the game, but will expand on the kinds of battles that can be waged. And that's really exciting. Now to be clear, Catalyst Game Labs is a company, which is looking to profit from providing these new kits, and the people who back them will receive them first. But this is being done to enhance CGL's place in the market 
and will bring greater profits to it. Sometimes this can create poor incentive structures, but the truth in this case is that CGL is offering more or less a very immediately identifiable and simple level of value. In other words, they are going to be providing direct value to consumers, which is the best thing a company can do, so I am supporting this Kickstarter for those reasons especially. After all, I am a large consumer of their product, and I am more than happy to reward good behavior by the stewards of the franchise. Back the Kickstarter, get more models, get new stories, and support the further expansion of the game. As the game expands, it will hopefully, and likely, continue to expand the community and playgroups, which we are seeing appear and thriving. I am very much backing the upcoming Kickstarter, both on this channel and with a pledge, not just because I want new miniatures, which I do, even though this channel now consumes a large volume of my time that I would have had to paint before but because I think it's the best possible thing that Battletech is going to need to not only survive into the future, but as I've mentioned before, to thrive into that future. While things are never perfect, there are mistakes on behalf of managers of any IP or company. I can see where the wind is blowing for the thing which I love. Battletech is going to, in my opinion, continue to grow in the tabletop space more players are going to find their way here and have more options for them to build and paint their forces and to play their games. This is just fantastic for everyone involved, especially when I get a large number of those miniatures for myself, of course. The launch parties for the Kickstarter 2, which CGL has been trying to support, show that there is an understanding of the kind of strange celebration that is really being built around this. This is Battletech's first true large expansion since its return through and the success of the Clan Invasion Kickstarter. This is as close to a game day or something akin to it that we've seen. If things continue to go well, I expect things like crowdfunding to be a thing of the past. And instead, we're going to start seeing more trade events and regular product expansions, like the recent Mercenary Lance Pack, or CGL's involvement going forward at more trade shows like we saw in 2022. Even the Kickstarter itself is being launched at Adepticon, another major event. After this batch of plastics, which covers much of the remaining 3025 Inner Sphere mechs and even a large number of 3058 mechs, as well as much of the Inner Sphere's 3025 vehicle roster, I can only hope that we start seeing more miniature releases in plastic that come from 3055, 3060, 3070, the Dark Age, and the Ill Clan era. While I am a patient man, I am even more excited for what lays beyond the horizon of the Kickstarter itself. From 3055 alone, I can think of more than a dozen mechs I'd love to see redesigned in plastic. Fireball, Jackal, the incredible Hollander, the Komodo, Watchman, Stealth, Huron Warrior, Grim Reaper, Daikyu, the fantastic Hercules, the Davian War Dog, the brain wounding missile boat known as the Salamander, the Albatross, the Berserker, and finally the indomitable Grand Titan. Please, Anthony Scroggins, you have to forgive me, but you have to do the Grand Titan. There's no escape. And that's just from 3055. Other mechs from all technological backgrounds and eras could use such things as well, of course. The Mad Cat 2 is just one, but you can add any number of mechs from both the Inner Sphere and the Clans. I have a suspicion, though, as a quick announcement for the current Kickstarter, that due to the recent and final recognition guide that we were given, that we might see the Blood Asp, a fan favorite, in a Clan plastic set that's not been announced yet. But I have no evidence for that, beyond the fact that it is the face of the last recognition guide. Still, to get back to the primary point, what I am saying is that the skies are the limit going forward. The Mercenaries Kickstarter, to me, is going to be the springboard into a new era of prosperity for the franchise. I expect it to do exceptionally well. I perhaps will be disappointed, but I expect it to have more backers, 
by far than the original Kickstarter. Perhaps I am overly optimistic. Perhaps I've gone mad. But I have such a level of optimism and excitement for everything coming out for Battletech in this regard that I see a brighter future than perhaps some do. Or those who don't want to be disappointed. Or those who simply want to mute their expectations. But for me, this is the new beginning. The start of a new journey to once more walk in the path with this incredible game. Battletech is not just back. It's going to be the game of the coming decade. Mark my words. Fun, tactically rewarding, easy to transport, significantly lower in cost to get started. But as a game, there is still no limit if you want to expand your army to almost any size, and that has become even more playable due to the new Alpha Strike game rules. And offering people an incredible universe to pick from, covering centuries of interesting conflicts with spectacular characters, and armies from a multitude of cultural ideas. This video is not just about me hyping up the new Kickstarter, because again, I think it's going to be absolutely amazing, but it is also me making an announcement that I will be covering several of the vehicles that are a part of the new upcoming Kickstarter over the next four to six weeks, and I will be making a general vehicle video, all of which I am going to use to promote that this Kickstarter is happening. I am going to be covering the Mercenaries Kickstarter livestream in a watch along as well on the date of March 23rd, the day this all goes live. This is really the most exciting time I can think of to be a Battletech fan, at least in the last 20 years. And regardless of the era you enjoy as well, as all of these mechs and vehicles, for the most part, will have a role to play in either the Succession Wars, Clan Invasion, Fedcom Civil War, the Blakist Era, the Dark Age, and even the current Ill Clan Era. Welcome to the new era, my friends. Welcome to a new age of armored combat. Look on the bright side, kid. You get to keep all the money. Thank you for joining me here today. If you enjoyed this video that we just came through, or you're hyped like I am for the new Kickstarter, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am including a link to the Mercenaries Kickstarter backer kit in the description below. I'd recommend signing up for it if you're wanting to show your support and you'd like updates from the new Kickstarter going forward, especially once it goes live. As always, a huge thank you to all the YouTube members who allow this content to be possible. I will catch everyone in the comments section below. Also, a big thank you to Catalyst Game Labs for bringing Battletech back from the brink. I look forward to the next steps that we are all going to be going down with the game.